Hello everyone and welcome to Miss Mika's Treasure Chest. My name is Shamika Tompkins and I'm an independent consultant of Paparazzi's Accessories. Today I'm going to do a brief tutorial to showcase how I package my jewelry for shipping of my items, okay? So, again, my name is Shamika Tompkins. My consultant ID is 91773. I started in this business in August of 2017 and I absolutely love it, okay? So, I'm currently at the rank of Premier Director and if you're interested in getting started with Paparazzi, I would love to have you on my team. Alright, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for further information and tutorials and trainings. Without further delay let's get the tutorial started so I'm going to show you my supplies I have an ink pen basic ink pen nothing fancy a permanent marker is black my business card an ink pen and yes take notice I am recycling as Bob the Builder said reduce reuse and recycle so I am reutilizing the bubble wrap that paparazzi sent me when I order my pieces I have my tape, a padded mailer, and it's a self-seal, so the only thing I have to do is peel this piece of tape off, and then the sticky adhesive is already there, and it will seal like that. Um, a little notepad with a little handwritten note on there. This is not anything I bought. This is something that was sent to me um, for free in the mail. I think it may have came from March of Dimes or something, um, once you contribute to different things. My fragile label, these, I did order this from Amazon, and I did order my um, bubble wrap. I'm sorry, my mailer, my padded mailer from Amazon as well. Um, again, I'm reusing the supplies, so I'm reusing the baggies that Paparazzi sent. Okay? And then I have my address labels. And these have my personal address on it, so I'm not going to turn them around, but I do use those to um, put on my mailers okay all right let's get the jewelry show started so so that i don't forget this note here is what i'm going to start with this is my note that i wrote out myself i had someone who um, shared my video so i put thank you don for supporting my business and for sharing the videos okay so for sharing the videos five times she won five pieces of jewelry that's all she had to do and i don't even think I think she shared it, and what happened was I entered her into a name. I had went live maybe five times, and then um, everybody who entered, who shared the video, was entered into a drawing, and she was the one who won the piece. So I'll go ahead and take that off the notepad. And I like to handwrite my notes simply because it gives it a personal touch. And even though I know her and she know me and we friends on Facebook, I go ahead and I send out my business card because that way if someone sees her with the jewelry on, they can know, hey, they can compliment her and she don't have to say, oh, this is paparazzi. She can say, oh, it's paparazzi. This is my jewelry lady. Here's her card. Okay? So I'm going to tilt the camera down so y'all can see my table. All right. So, she has a long piece. She has some beautiful pieces, y'all. And if you can, safely get the staple out. Go ahead and get the staple out. Alright, so she has a long piece that she won. I'll package that. And then I have my tape. Because I'm going to use the tape to anchor this in place. If you can see, I'm just taking a piece of tape and putting it here onto the black piece that paparazzi the packaging, and then I'm going to secure it to the clear plastic baggie. Okay? That way it, I can hold it and it doesn't slip down in the packaging. So that's the one piece. She has a pair of earrings. That matches that set. I can put those down in there. And I'm actually going to turn them sideways. I try to put the jewelry in as secure and snugly as I can. And I do that because you don't know how your jewelry is going to be handled. How the product is going to be handled once it leaves your possession. And once it's being transported by the post office. So then I have this set of bracelets. And I'm going to fold this down. Okay, to conserve space. And I'm going to put this in here. So I don't want the jewelry in my bubble wrap and in my package to be um, 
flopping all around. I want it to be kind of secured and snug and anchored in really good. So then I have a, a piece here. And what I do is when paparazzi sends me the, um, my jewelry, the bags that I can salvage, I salvage them for this purpose. Now sometimes I open the bag and it's like, okay, I didn't destroy that bag. And you see all the extra that I have? I don't need all of that, so I can take my scissors and just cut that off. Then I take my piece of tape. And a piece of tape may be a little over an inch or so. And I anchor my piece. And then her last piece, I'm going to do the exact same. And because I know her, I pick these pieces based on her style. Um, when people win free jewelry, typically the jewelry is are going to be pieces that I select. And a lot of times I put some hostess rewards in there. But if it's somebody that I know and my hostess rewards are not to their style or to their liking, I don't think they would be like impressed with that, then I'll put something else in there for them. I can cut off my extra. That makes it easier for me to take. And I don't know about y'all, but sometimes we get those forever pieces that we seem to just can't move. So if you're able to, when you do your giveaways, use your forever pieces um, that you can't get seem to move or can't seem to shape. And I'm gonna take my jewelry and fold it over. And that's a good way to move your inventory especially if it's a new um, person that's joining you on your lives or that you're doing a giveaway of someone that, you know, it's just coming to you. You don't know how impressed people have been when I gave them some of my forever pieces. They get those pieces and they're like, ooh and on. Okay, and this piece, I'm actually going to fold it over a few times and that will not damage the jewelry, okay? So what I'm going to do is because I have multiple layers of jewelry, I'm going to take this and I can see right now that this piece is a little big. So I'm going to try to conserve my product and let's see if I can do this. I think this is going to work out great. I put it here to the middle. Because I have multiple layers, I can take this piece and put in between it as a buffer, okay? And then I can take my other two pieces and put down, and I can take this piece and put here. And I think that's going to work out nice and securely. And like I said, I want my jewelry to fit rather tightly because when it leaves me, I do not know how it's going to be handled and shift it around at the post office by the carrier or what have you. Although I have that fragile label on it. Okay, so I'm gonna tape it down. So now I've got that anchored and I've got my thank you note, I've got my business card, and now I'm anchoring my jewelry down, secured it in this package. Okay, so now I can do the shape test and the jewelry is not flipping and flopping, which is good. So let me get this out of our way. We didn't need that big major piece. So on my package, I've already written the words, thank you, biggest day, so she can see them. All right, so I'm going to take my package, put it right in there. It fits perfectly. Now, some people, they take things and they put on the side. I like to put whatever I have in here if I can. Because sometimes when people get their jewelry, they're so excited to get this package, they don't pay attention to what's on the, the other stuff that may be in here. So, I just go ahead and do that. And then because I have everything in there, I can seal it.
I'm going to take my fragile label and I'm going to put that here and I'm going to write her name okay and then let me flip the camera back up all right so what I'm going to do is ordinarily I will put my address label here but because it has my personal address I'm not going to put it put my address I'm going to finish filling out her information then I can take it to the post office and it's ready for shipping all right again my name is Shamika Tompkins I'm an independent consultant of paparazzi's accessories please 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 subscribe to my YouTube channel for this tutorial and more that are going to follow you can get notifications of when I um, upload a video if you subscribe to the channel all right, so I appreciate you, and if you're interested in joining Paparazzi, please let me know that you're interested by contacting me, 804-852-0131, or simply go to my website, www.paparazziaccessories.com, slash Miss Mika, and that's M-S-M-I-C-A. Thank you so much, and I appreciate you for taking your time to visit with me on today. Take care.